What is up guys? This is Zach from Anglers Escape and today I want to make a quick video on trophy catfishing. I've caught a lot of fish over 50 pounds on the Missouri River and other reservoirs using this John boat. A lot of them even came from the banks. I want to use those tips and I'll do a voiceover of other clips I've had. I've caught fish up to 80 pounds. I'm hoping to one day get that 100 pounder. But I want to show you the baits I'm using, the hook sizes I'm using, the general locations that you should look for for trophy fish. And I hope you, this video puts you on some nice fish and as always, best of luck fishing. When it comes to trophy catfishing, location is key. I've caught all my large catfish in big bodies of water, whether those were lakes or rivers. For example, the Missouri River, Platte River, and Lake of the Ozarks is where I've caught most of my fish that have been 30 pounds and higher. My 80 pounder came from the Missouri River, which is a massive body of water. So when you look, look for local fishing reports, make sure other big fish have come out of those areas, and look for large rivers and lakes. Perhaps one of the oh most frustrating God. things about trophy catfishing is one week you might catch a lot <laughs> no of large way. catfish in a spot and then you might come back there five times over the next year and never get a single bite. No, trophy dude. catfish roam around a lot where the bait fish are based off the time of day and the season and these big bodies of water that house the catfish they have a lot of room to run around. And uh, the saying really holds true where 90% of the fish are in 10% of the water. So you have to go out a lot to one, hone in on the fish, and two, a lot of times they're just not actively feeding. They might be in the area, but it might be a time of day where they're not interested in your bait and you could throw it right down in front of them and they won't take it. The next critical aspect to trophy catfishing is <laughs> right, the guys, right bait. Nice trophy catfish catfish love large baits, usually oh, live baits, sometimes cut baits. Blue catfish will take a cut bait or a live bait. Flathead catfish usually have the best luck with live bait, but I've also caught some on cut bait. Generally, I use a bait that's three to four inches in size, up to eight inches in size. My personal best blue catfish of 80 pounds was caught on a live creek chub that was about eight inches long. And I've caught plenty of big fish on live bluegill, live drum, live shad, and all kinds of cut baits as well. But it's usually always some sort of live fish or fresh cut fish. If you're using worms, shrimp, things like that. While it's possible you could catch a big fish, it's very rare and you're more than likely to get to those one to five pound catfish. Hook size is also important for trophy catfishing. When you're using large bait for these catfish, I generally use a five aught to a 10 aught circle hook. So the 5 aughts I usually use for my cut baits and I'll go up to a 10 aught circle hook for my large live baits like those creek chubs and bluegill that are alive. Bluegill I usually hook under the dorsal fin. Creek chubs sometimes I'll hook through the nostrils and they swim pretty freely. That's how I caught the 80 pounder. But again you want strong hooks, 5 aught for those cut baits and up to 8 to 10 aught for those live baits. Most of my fish have come on the rig as you can see on the left side. I basically have a sliding sinker that has anywhere from two ounces if I'm fishing a lake with no current, up to eight ounces if I'm fishing heavy current on the Missouri River. Then I have a barrel swivel that the weight is stopped by. Sometimes I'll put a bead in between my weight and the swivel. And then anywhere from 12 to 18 inches from my barrel swivel, I'll tie on my five aught to 10 aught circle hook. Usually I fish with 80 pound braid sometimes 50 pound braid or 40 pound monofilament. Recently I've been liking the braid more because you can get a huge spool off Amazon and I'll put a link in the description for some cheap braided fishing line. It's super strong, catfish really don't care about how thick your line is or if it's braid versus mono. They're not side oriented, they're very scent oriented. Hence you can catch big catfish on massive trot line where you're basically using ropes attached to the hooks and they still bite. So I would err on the side of having too much pound test line than too little. So go ahead, get yourself some 60 pound plus test line or higher, I would recommend. Next up is rod and reel. So for the rod, you really want something that's about eight feet long and medium heavy to heavy. Anywhere from eight to 10 feet is probably good, depending if you're casting from the bank or if you're on a boat, you might want it a little shorter. Personally, I got my rods from Walmart for about 20 to $30 a piece, a combination of heavy and medium heavy rods. Just make sure they can hold up to that 30, 40 pound test line. And then as far as the reel goes, I got my reel off Amazon and they were anywhere from $30 to $50. I'm in college, don't have a lot of free money to spend. So I found some cheap options that really have held up well. I caught my 80 pound blue catfish on an Amazon braided line plus rod and reel from Daiwa. And I'll put the links in the video description. But again, you want a pretty big reel. I suggest the open face reels. They can hold a little more line and usually a little bigger line. 
A few additional takeaways is one, you don't have to have a boat to catch trophy catfish. I've caught about half my catfish from the bank. I've walked to a few sandbars and dikes from the shore, just parking my car, walking over, carrying my stuff. Actually, my 80 pounder I caught from the bank as well, and it was within walking distance of a parking lot that was near the Missouri River. Another good tip, whenever the water's rising or you've had rain recently, a lot of times that'll get fish moving, especially in big river systems. So check it out when the water level's gone up a little bit recently due to some spring rain. And one last tip is I always bring some other poles to target smaller catfish so I don't strike out. So I always have two or three poles out for the trophy catfish with those large baits, large hooks, large pound test line. I have some smaller poles with 20, 30 pound test line that I'll use anywhere from size one hooks to size three out hooks with smaller cut baits or worms or crawfish, something like that. So if a smaller three pound channel catfish comes along and I want to have that for dinner, I still have the option of catching that fish. As a takeaway, the key to catching trophy catfish is one, using the right baits, which are large live baits or cut baits. Then also using the right gear, so large, anywhere from 5 aught to 10 aught circle hooks, fished on the bottom with adequate weight. You need anywhere from 50 to 100 pound test line on a heavy action rod, something that can hold quite a bit of line. And then the location is really critical. If you're not fishing big bodies of water, it's really hard to catch big fish. So find large rivers and lakes near you, especially if you can find somewhere that has been known to produce large fish. And then the biggest takeaway is that every time you go out, you're not going to catch fish when you're going for trophy catfish. While I can go out and easily catch a few small pan-sized catfish every single time if I go to smaller lakes and ponds, when I'm going after trophy catfish, I expect to only catch one over 30, 40 pounds every three to five outings. So it's definitely a lot harder than it looks and it just takes time. Again, these fish are really spread out in these big body of waters and a lot of times they're not feeding and who knows where they're actually at in the body of water. Catfishing has really become a hobby of mine over the last five or six years. I really enjoy kind of sharing the tips I've learned along the way. I recently made a PDF book that I'm selling on Payhip for $4.99 if you guys would like to take a look. It has a lot of tips and tricks for catching these trophy fish, all the ones that I've caught personally, pictures of them, the general location I caught them, the bait, the pound test line, and the hook I was using. And also, it so shows some tips on how to catch those smaller catfish that are great for eating, that one to five pound range. But lots of tips and tips in the book. So if you guys could hit the like button, I'd greatly appreciate it. But as always, I wish you the best of luck fishing.